In this video, you will learn how to access the most commonly used commands in ARCHICAD. You can choose your preferred way of working because ARCHICAD offers multiple options for finding what you need. There are four main places to bring up editing options, the path palette, which appears next to the cursor, the menu system, in which you can browse all the available options, the toolbar, which contains shortcuts to specific options and is fully customizable, and the context menu, which you can bring up by pressing the right mouse button. Let's start with the path palette. This handy palette pops up whenever you click on a certain part of a selected element you want to modify. Let's see an example. So if you have this wall selected and want to make it longer, you need to click on an endpoint of the reference line, which is highlighted with blue, and the path palette appears. It has two specific commands depending on where you clicked. There are situation-dependent commands on the top row and generic editing commands on the bottom. In this case, there is only one situational command, the stretch, which will make this wall longer or shorter. Alternatively, you can select a different command from the bottom row of the path palette, the drag, for example, to move the wall. Similarly, you can rotate, mirror, elevate and multiply elements with it. If you click on the same wall but on the reference edge instead of the endpoint, you will see different options – curve, edge and inserting new nodes, for example. If you go to the options, work environment, dialog boxes and palettes, you can set the path palette to follow the cursor if you prefer. If the path palette is still in the way, you can always drag it to a different place on the screen. The tracker is used to specify the exact values you'd like to apply to the changes. To switch between other fields of the tracker, you can use the tab key. Once the right field is selected, start typing. The tracker will always show values relevant to the currently active command. To abort any command, press escape on your keyboard. To access more editing options, use the menu system. You can apply commands from the edit menu whenever an element is selected. For example, you can use the drag multiple copies from here since it's not accessible through the path palette. There are plenty of other options for editing here. The menu system contains all the other features of ARCHICAD related to editing, design, documentation and more. You can reach all settings from the Options tab and Element Attributes such as Building Materials to customizing your project settings and work environment. We are not covering the whole menu system within this video, as that would be overwhelming, it's just good to keep in mind that you have everything up here and will cover the features found in the menu at the relevant part of your learning. Besides the primary menu system, you will find commonly used commands in the toolbar. By default, the architectural work environment profile contains the standard toolbar with some useful editing tools like the trim, split, adjust, intersect. Remember, you can find these commands in the menu system as well. Let's see an example. If you pull this wall a bit back here and select the other one to join them back again, click on the intersect button on the toolbar. Similarly, just select and click on the split button to split an existing element. If you are uncertain what's the next step you have to take to execute a certain command, you can always check the status bar here on the bottom left. In this case, it says draw a line to split the selected elements. Another way to bring up options is to use the right mouse button. Again, the choices will be different based on where you click. If you click on empty space with nothing selected on a floor plan, you can set trace options for example, choosing the reference view and changing its look and behavior. You can also change some view settings and switch to 3D or activate true line weight. If you have an element selected, you can apply the familiar move commands from here, connect them to other elements or even zoom to the selection from the context menu. You will find the traditional copy and paste options here to copy or cut these parts and paste them on different floor plans or even in another instance of a running ARCHICAD project. If you choose Show All or Show Selection in 3D, the 3D window will open accordingly. Some options are different in 3D. 
You can temporarily hide objects with the hide selection and bring them back by choosing Show All in 3D. Once you get familiar with all the options you need, you can always use keyboard shortcuts. These can be found in the menu system next to the commands, or go to Options, Work Environment and Keyboard Shortcuts to oversee and modify them. These were all the places from where you can access basic ARCHICAD commands.